Uh, again, all right, we're going to do a family collage. So with family collage, you're going to hit new. We're going to create a new file. We're going to go inches, and we're going to say eight and a half by eleven. But I want my, I want it eleven is my width, eight and a half, and then resolution. Let's make it uh, four eighty. Here, hit create. All right, so there is my file. Now we're going to take photos from Google Photos, or if you want to take it from somewhere else, but I've already downloaded from Google Photos um, a bunch of pictures I've already selected. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go to Place. I don't want a file open, but I want to place things on top of here. So I'm going to say File, Place, Embedded. And if I do the difference between Embedded and Linked, if I did Linked, it would, it would be a smaller file size but it would go keep looking for a photo somewhere else we want it embedded so that we can um, if I move this file somewhere else I still have the file saved and or can can work with it if I move to another computer so I'm gonna say place embedded and I went to my downloads and took the file and I'm just gonna find a picture that I'd like all right now it shows up with this bounding box and before I hit enter I can resize it so I, if I click in a corner and I do not hold the shift key, my aspect ratio gets changed. So if I want to make sure I keep the right ratio, I have to hold the shift key and then go through that. Boom, like that. All right. Now I can hit enter. I can still move it around after, but that's just for the placing. And it's sometimes easier just to move it right there. All right. So I'm going to continue to do that now. So there we go, I skipped ahead. Now, next thing I want you to see is how to change the layers. So if I want this picture here to see their faces, I'm gonna click on that layer. It tells me which one it is, and I wanna slide it up here. There we go, I can move this around. If I brought it too far, or maybe I wanna adjust this and put this one here, I'm gonna drive that one up, put it a little higher. There we go. All right, now another thing you should know is that if I need something to be um, resized, I can still resize it after the fact. So let's say I take this photo here, and I want to, let's hide everything else, or let me bring it up higher. So I want to bring this layer up, but maybe I want to resize it a little bit, make it, make it a little smaller. So when I click on it, I can hit Control T. And now I can shrink it again, keep my shift to have that aspect ratio the way I want it, and hit enter. All right, and so you can still click on stuff. If you have your selection tool with auto select checked, anytime you select on something, it will change to the layer you want. If you don't have it checked, then to go to a new layer, you, I can't move this unless I find that layer here and then it'll work so I select I always have auto select it's gonna make your life probably a whole lot easier okay um, you can mess around with if you want to have some borders for those but uh, that's about it I want you to make a picture collage you can have family you can have friends you can have homecoming pictures whatever you want um, but make a collage with the same size that I did same resolution and drop it in teams